I'm just looking at Bailey, and Bailey is having a good time. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's her, what, uh, is she's a, a chihuahua mix? Yes, we think she's a mix. Um, About she, how old is she? She's eight weeks. Okay. Oh, still a baby. She's actually been at Houston Humane for a couple of weeks. She came in with a skin infection, so she was okay. in our clinic being treated and uh, staying in our nursery overnight because she's so little, and she's definitely playful and feisty. <laughs> Um, but she's healed, her hair has grown back, and she's ready to find a forever home. I think there's even, you know, some fights going on behind the scenes on who's going to get to adopt yeah, yeah. Bailey, because everybody wants this cutie pie. Yeah, she's got a lot of energy, and she's just uh, really friendly. When she first came in, the first thing I noticed her tail was like, yes. I'm happy, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> she is take me home, dog. take me home. But this is the time of the year people are going to be now having their pets around. We have the new year starting, and there's going to be some fireworks going on. Let's talk about some of the tips we need to give people to make sure their pets are okay when it's all yeah about. absolutely and the biggest thing is this is not the time of year to leave off your collars and tags mm, mm -hmm. you know even if your pet is microchipped we hope they're microchipped you can still get one at Houston Humane seven days a week if she they're not the um, <laughs> um, but you know collars and tags if they do escape out if they do dig out with with fireworks going on that's gonna help them get home much faster um, give them an extra long walk to kind of try to tire them out New Year's Eve night to try to you know maybe help them sleep a little easier or at least get rid of some anxiety um, and you can talk you can try to give them distract them with a toy something like a Kong or a puzzle toy you know a Kong where you can stuff it with peanut butter and really distract them with something savory um, you can also try something like a thunder shirt to help try to calm I've heard them of those down. Um, they kind of just wrap tightly around your pet it makes them feel secure. Um, I've even known of people maybe taking a, a t one of their t-shirts and putting that on their pet. The smell of you and something fitted around them can really help ease some anxiety. You can also put them maybe in a laundry room or a bedroom in their crate with a blanket over it with the TV playing to try to drown out some of the noise from fireworks. And sometimes that'll help too. Well, she is uh, going to be okay. I think she's teething. She is teething she loves on my your hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but she does have a strong bite, so that's good. Yeah. Right now, she just wants to get out and play. Somebody wants to come to get her. Are you open all the way through the New Year's, or are you going to close? We are it? open today, regular hours. Tomorrow, New Year's <laughs> Eve, we're going to be open 11 to 3. Okay. We are closed New Year's Day, but we'll be back open January 2nd, normal hours. Okay. Well, that means you got plenty of time to go get Bailey today. Houston Humane Society. 14700 Almeda Road in Southwest Houston. Head on down. Bailey's going to be there. By the way, you can see animals in need of a family in Houston on our Adopt a Pet section as well on click2houston.com. It is under the Consumer <laughs> tab. And today, if you're going out, notice it's going to be in the 40s throughout.